Bear 1000 here. I just thought I'd share my nightly routine with you. About three or four times a night I come out, kind of walk the perimeter of the property here. Shine my light around. Make sure nothing funny's going on over there. And I take a little walk around the vehicles. I check inside there. You know what? I won't put you on night vision. Hang on a second here. Uh, if I don't hit the power button by accident. There we go. So, and then, you know, check the Corvette. Check the Toyota. Man, I got to get... It's still, I'd like to put a, just put a whole new head on this truck. $700 though. But if I, uh, if I don't, I still got to, once I take that off, I got to get that broken spark plug out. See what I can do about the threads and that. And it's still, I'm going to put, I'm going to put two new cams in it because, you know, I mean, they got a half a million miles on them. So, I got to get out, update on the health condition. I, I haven't, I haven't tested myself. Uh, still hasn't, haven't been feeling well, but I still didn't get any symptoms, <coughs> excuse me, of, of COVID. I didn't get any symptoms of it, but what I do believe I have, which I've got, you know, I've been diagnosed as chronic bronchial pneumonia, and I get that four to five times a year, guys. That's the only symptoms I've had. Though I did, I did test positive, so I know I had it, but I was fine for a couple days, and then I started coughing, and I could feel the you know in my lungs the liquid in my lungs and stuff just the same as every time i get bronchial pneumonia that's what i what i think i've had so i've been rusting a lot i haven't got the the grass is is very very high Let's see it's very high because usually that's all mowed down you know you can see where the neighbor mows and then ours <laughs> uh, so yeah this is what I do every night I come out look around make sure nothing shady's going on what's that thing oh some kind of mushroom a lot of mushrooms in the yard but yeah so usually what I'll do is I'll come out the back door check everything out <laughs> gotta do something with that uh with that golf cart so yeah, I haven't uh, haven't posted anything because, like I said, I've been resting a lot. Because <coughs> when I get this bronchial pneumonia, I'm down for three weeks minimum. I've been lucky. This is the first time I've had it all year. This year, but like the doctor said, sometimes you know I may get it four or five times a year. Sometimes I may get it once a year, but it is chronic really nothing nothing that can be done about that but I was diagnosed with that before I had my strokes so but hopefully tomorrow I was going to do it today but I wasn't feeling the greatest so hopefully tomorrow I can get out here get this grass cut because like I said I don't know if you can see that that, that grass is tall man really tall 
it's almost up to my waist <laughs> all right let me get let me turn you back off a of night vision here real quick uh, there we go but yeah this is what I do every night a couple times a night there's been some because on this ring doorbell app people can post stuff if they've had any issues and about a mile from here there's been some break-ins like somebody broke into someone's truck someone got in their garage stole a um, a wash bucket like it's used for your washing your cars and stuff that they kept their change in it was full of change somebody stole it and you know I did a few months ago have a gas can come up missing and they got it because they reached around the corner of the house there where the cameras couldn't pick it up pick them up and pff, reached just reached around and grabbed it it had a uh, it had about three gallons of two two cycle gas in it for the boat Thanks for the birthday wishes for Monkey. She really appreciates that. Uh, I had plans to go camping, <laughs> but then, you know, I tested positive, and well, she did first, and then two days later, I did. So, I had plans to take her camping, but it was just too early yet, so. Her mom's got it and she still has it. She's she's still in the hospital. But she's probably going to be coming home this week. But she's still testing positive And it's been well over a month for her. Um, she don't want to go back to the rehab center. So she just wants to come back home. Since she don't like it there. She never know what... What kind of creepers can be out here creeping around. You know, just because that doorbell don't go off doesn't mean that they can't be sneaking on the other side of it. If they sneak on the other side of the truck and the vet, you know, this the doorbell's not going to pick them up. Hi. You are currently so it's not going to give me a notification. And I won't know anything's gone until, that's how they got the that gas jug, until I check the other two cameras. The one points this way, and the other one points straight out to the road on the other side of the vehicles there, so... And the Chevy's parked over there. Right there's the Chevy, so... Where you at? There. I don't like it parked over there. But we had to... You guys saw that we had to have a new leech, leech field put in. So... But yeah, I think I'll get to mow out tomorrow. It's she was going to mow one day, but I think uh, one of the front tires is flat, and um, so I'm going to have to uh, get that pumped up. I think I got enough gas in it to cut the grass one time, and then uh, yeah, so I'll bring you along with me if if I get that done. Maybe we'll start the vet tomorrow. I got to get it put back together because I still got the interior out of it. Not all the interior, but the dash, and because we was working on the stereo, and that stereo does have a a place for a backup camera, so it'll be going in the Chevy eventually. Because it's a, I think it's a JVC, or it's a pretty good one. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd bring you along. My nightly routine is probably about a quarter till four now. I do this several times a night uh, last week I wasn't feeling good at all it was just well it was a cough it wasn't that I was sick to my stomach or anything I just coughed you know just constantly every three or four seconds it's <coughs> I mean a bad cough and my ribs were hurt my back was hurting my body was aching it was all from that cough and then today I was going to come out and do some things and I just got real weak and shaky and you know lightheaded and so I didn't do anything today either, but so we're wanting to plan a a couple night camping trip here soon for her birthday. It'd be late, but <laughs> I had it all planned out, and the the day she tested positive was the day I was 
I was going to reserve the campsite so I knew it was going to be several weeks because then I knew I was going to have it there's just no way around it. I knew I was going to get it or you know test positive and <sighs> that's not good uh, her doctor gave her antibiotics I didn't get anything I did uh, get some cough drops and um, some cough medicine what is it something DM and uh, I did get some of that that helped um, but it was the cough and kept me up all night long and all right guys so anyway just a quick upload for you I know I haven't uploaded please bear with me there'll be more more videos to come um, so yeah that's so I've been you know kind of catching up on videos and you know uh, Hob Becker got a new uh, new deer blind ground blind for so he's he's getting ready to do see I heard something right over here he's getting ready for his uh, his deer hunting his bow hunting I haven't hunted in years I'd like to do some bow hunting I was going to this year but uh, I don't I don't think I'm going to but next year I think I will I was going to do some alligator hunting this year didn't get to do that um, need to get a bang stick for that but uh, yeah maybe I'll get back into doing a little hunting next year hopefully if everything plays out alright but and then you know the the rona happened so nobody was allowed to go and do anything which you know i was okay with that i don't mind staying home uh because not just for myself but i don't want to you know give something to someone else and then get sick or die you know because of me inadvertently for me because i just didn't want to stay home that's not fair or you know give it to someone that gives it to their kids that's not fair so you know i stay home as much as i can monkey does as much as she can it was kind of hard to go, you know, for her to go see her mom in the hospital, even wearing masks. You know, it gets on your clothes and stuff. You know, she's got to visit her mom. But she couldn't there for like two weeks because, you know, because what she tested, so. Hi, you are currently being recorded. The monkey has to hear that every night. But that's just what I do, you know, just check things out, make sure everything's still where it should be and nobody's out here prowling around most everybody in this neighborhood like our neighbors and stuff nobody would steal but who does steal is the tweakers around here live up the end of the street up there there's like they got like an encampment up there uh, i'll explain about that some other time but you know and then you'll get some tweakers walk up and down the street you know so i keep a close eye on this place and uh make sure everything's good to go make sure monkey's safe when her mom's home make sure she's safe and you know just something i do so anyway thanks for coming along with me on my nightly routine let's go in here again before that goes off it is let's see what time it is here it's about 12 minutes till four and then it was a. Uh, Ooh, that's scary. It was doing a lot of rain and it rained every day, storm, power would go out and you know all that stuff. So anyway guys, again thanks for watching, appreciate it. And uh thanks for your patience on my videos. There'll be more to come. We'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear Met the Man Legend I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Bye bye and take care.